the NBA currently playing preseason matches, we could think drama and the season's heat would not commence until the first match. However, this seems to be untrue. What has Twitter drama amassed recently? Keep watching to find out. Firstly, NBA injury. While basketball is one of the least dangerous sports, there is always a chance to get injured while playing. Over the years, basketball has been an officially recognized sport. There has been a significant number of injuries have been accounted for. Some injuries go from a simple fall to injuries that end careers instantly. Zion Williamson, the Pelicans' power forward, did not play a single game last season after suffering a broken foot as his recovery was slower than expected. After being selected in the 2019 draft as the number one pick, he has struggled to stay fit. Williamson looked forward to showing why his team has put so much faith in him and getting New Orleans back to their winning ways. Yet, it seems as though he is still not in shape to do so due to being pulled for the remainder of the game against the Heat. Zion recorded 11 points, 2 rebounds, and 4 assists in just 11 minutes in his team's 120-103 loss. The Pelicans will face the Atlanta Hawks in their last preseason game ahead of their NBA season opener against the Brooklyn Nets next Wednesday. Hopefully, he will be able to do something before the new season starts to have a shot at scoring a winning basket. Secondly, what scandals does the NBA have to deal with? There has been no shortage of unsavory points that the NBA has had to deal with over the years. However, every year, guarantee, there will be issues that must be dealt with before the commencement of the new season. The NBA has seen everything from gambling scandals, drug use, and even race-filled scandals. This year, the NBA has been busy dealing with issue after issue, surrounded by the likes of Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and Russell Westbrook. With the inclusion of these individuals, several negative headlines have shifted the focus away from the court. One of the incidents come via Miles Bridges, who last played for the Charlotte Hornets as a power forward. The star allegedly assaulted his partner in front of their two children. The next instance occurred on the Phoenix Suns owner, Robert Sarver, who was accused of racism, sexism, and sexual harassment following a report published by ESPN in 2021. This resulted in Robert being fined $10 million and receiving a one-year suspension after the NBA investigation. As per this decision, Suns jersey sponsor, PayPal, threatened to cut ties with the team if they kept Sarver as the owner. In the end, Sarver decided to step aside and put the Suns and the Phoenix Mercury up for sale. The NBA is a massive franchise and has seen its fair share of scandals. However, when the merger of ABA and NBA occurred in the start of the 1970s, the league found itself amid an epidemic. The drug choice for the rich at the time was cocaine. This hit the NBA like a wrecking ball. By the time the sport was cleaned up, several players had been banned for life, a potential dynasty was utterly derailed, and a possible future Hall of Famer had died. One of the biggest scandals found via the NBA was the Tim Donahue scandal. This was when a seasoned NBA ref was busted for gambling on games. Worse still, he was manipulating the outcomes of the game so that he could win his bets. To make this worse, he was also working for the Mafia, making it ten times worse. When you hear somebody reference the frozen envelope, they are talking about the NBA going out of their way to fix specific results, which typically center around David Stern, the precious longtime commissioner of the league. The incident involving the draft lottery was no different. Donald Sterling was one of the biggest dramas in NBA history, successfully suing them for $100 million. Donald owned the Los Angeles Clippers from 1981 until 2014, when the franchise had to be forcibly taken from him. For many years, the former personal injury attorney and real estate mogul were criticized for his dealings in the league and how frugally he ran his organization. As a result, he removed the team from San Diego to Los Angeles without the league's approval and sued the NBA for $100 million in an untimely successful effort to get the other owners back down. Next, are tweets from NBA stars causing more drama? The NBA has always been hot on social media and over the past couple of years has been cracking down on official team social media accounts, sending negative tweets about opposing teams or players. This was put in place by ESPN's Tim McMahon and Deputy Commissioner Mark Tatum to all 30 teams. 
which asserted that some accounts had crossed the line. This was in consideration of the back and forth between the Portland Trailblazers account and Chandler Parsons in 2017. However, Twitter is always alive and ticking. When it comes to sports, there is always drama around the corner. Recently, the Los Angeles Lakers defeated the Golden State Warriors on Sunday at Chase Center in an NBA preseason game. However, Jordan Poole stole the show and Kevin Durant took notice. Durant played against his former 2019 team, scoring 20 individual points. The two-time NBA champion was returned after missing the past three games while stuck in quarantine with COVID-19. After the match, Poole was commended for his performance by Durant. However, the timing of his tweet was interesting. Now for the part you've all been waiting for, Ben Simmons. We have been waiting for his reawakening to the NBA, however his recent performance was far from what we were expecting. Will Ben be kicked out of the Nets? Lastly, Ben Simmons' recent performance. When Ben played in the Brooklyn Nets preseason loss to Miami Heat, he struggled to find his rhythm following a 470-day layoff. In the game, he took a total of just three shots, and his passivity in the 25 minutes of action was blinding. The former number one pick showed little assertiveness in attacking the rim or even generating contact offensively through the Nets' first two preseason games. This was expected from the player as Simmons gets reacclimated to NBA play and the required performance. This process is more than just a mental element for the 26-year-old as he is just coming off a of surgery this offseason. The head coach of the Nets released this statement. The number one thing is to support him and be there for him. Give him the belief, Nash said. We all believe in him. We all think that he'll make a huge impact. Got to give him time. Got to be patient with him. We hope it comes quickly, but if it doesn't, we got to work through and stay patient and give him the confidence because it's not easy. You know, I can't reiterate that enough. You have to understand he's going through a lot, he continued. This is a year and a half since he's played and not to mention the surgery. So that is no small thing. I think not just for a basketball player, but for any athlete to come off that much of a layoff from the actual games is very difficult. Despite this, questions surrounding Simmons' physical and mental ability will eventually ramp up if his passive approach continues during the opening weeks of the regular season. However, Simmons' ability to create for others has been the constant talking point when assessing his fit in Brooklyn. Playing alongside players such as Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving does present less of a need for scoring. Simmons wasn't lacking confidence heading into the 2022-23 seasons, even though we have not seen him play in 15 months since his last game. Simmons appeared on the Old Man and the Three podcast with J.J. Redick and spoke on his expectations for the Nets. In the podcast, he referenced his 2017-2018 Philadelphia team that won 53 games, earning the third seed in the Eastern Conference. The team finished the season on a 16-game win streak, with all-star center Joel Embiid missing the final eight games. During the year, Philly frequently used lineups surrounding Simmons with three or more shooters in Redick, Robert Covington, Dario Saric, Mario Bellinelli, Ersan Ilyasova, and more. The strategy allowed Simmons to orchestrate a free-flowing offense with his teammates running the floor, spotting up from there, and repeating the benefits of his natural passing ability. Nash was firm when speaking about the mindset that Simmons must bring to the court. He did say this by saying, Ben's gotta be aggressive. Since coming into the league in 2017, Simmons has racked second among all NBA players and three-pointers assisted on, trailing Russell Westbrook by just 21. As part of the Nets, a team tailor-made for his skill set, he is just required to perform to his old standards. Thank you for watching this video. Now you know what drama has been recently dunked into the NBA. From injuries to Twitter scandals, which one grabbed your attention the most? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more like this. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.